Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see structures as function arguments. Another user defined data type available in group programming, which allows you to combine data items of different kinds. So for example, uh, let's take a very basic example of uh, like an employee table or an employee where you know want to give an employee name, first name, last name, and how we can have that in a structure. Let's see how we can do that. So let's see, I will take a very simple example, main. And then we can have our uh, structure. So we can call it our type employees struct. We can have first name string. We can have last name string. address string. Now I have an employee ID. Let's call it amp ID. Oh, it's, it should be an integer. Now let's have a main function. In main, we can have a variable employee one employees. Well, we can have a variable employee two. So we are going to define two employees in employees. Let's give a specification to the first employee. So employee one dot what first name? We can call it as John. Employee one dot last name. can call it Jose and we can have an employee one dot address so let's give it San Jose and employee one dot amp ID let's give a random number Okay, now we can let's define the second employee. Employee two. Employee two, first name. We can call it as Smith. Dot last name. Uh, let's give a name as Juice. Oh, um, Kevin. Employee two dot address. Let's see San Francisco. Employee two dot empire. Okay, so we have given two specifications for our both the employees. Now let's call it print employee we can call it as employee one and then we can have oh we have close to this we should not close this hmm. to center print employee we'll have employees too now we can have our close Can close this now let's have a function um, print employee so it will have employee employees fmt print function have employee first name so 
slash n string comma or we can close the double inverted and then we can comma we'll have employee dot first name so we can just copy this and we can just change this to last change this to address change this to employee ID. and here as well ID. okay this one is not string this is integer so it will be change this to uh, address last now let's run this code run main dot open it out Now let's run again. So there it comes, uh, the first employee. So this a simple struct program can be used to uh, define structure as a function argument in a very similar way as you pass any other variable or pointer. So if you like my video, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any suggestions, please do let me know. Thank you.